can use them. There's a couple of things that will set this apart from other things that you may have tried. And yes, grooming a cat, I tried it, my cat loves it. You get the two for $27.80. We have the creator of the Sleekies here, Jennifer Tipton. I love that, you know, you work with animals, you uh -huh. saw a need, but can I also introduce our friend, this is Arrow, this right? This is Arrow. Hi, this baby. is a Siberian Husky. <gasps> And he is actually a working dog. He's got is a competition he? tomorrow. Oh, goodness. Well, yeah, then we need to have him looking tip top a here. A sled race, yeah. So this is, you know, a lot of times we see grooming products. This is different for a couple of reasons than what we've seen probably right. before. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. This is a patented tool, and it's got teeny tiny teeth. They're less than a sixteenth of a millimeter. And it's configured in a wave pattern. And uh, it grabs by the tips of the hair. So it's very comfortable for the animal. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got multiple sizes. Here we've got two different sizes. Um, the handle is a wood oval handle. Nice. So it can roll in the hand. It has a really nice grip. And you know, mm -hmm. if you've ever tried to, to get in there you know, with, with a traditional brush, sometimes it's not as easy. I like that this has a wide grasp. Now right. the two sizes, uh -huh. we can use them. I'm thinking like the small one would probably be great on my cat. The small one Absolutely. could be good on like the top of the head to get down around the feet. Now will Arrow be okay if I get on here and groom him? Well, we'll see. He's a, you know, he's a working Hi, dog. Buddy. He's being look really good that. right now. But, but look see this? at how the fur just comes right off. Right, it grabs by the tips of the hair. So it's not raking against the skin or anything, yet it mm -hmm. still grabs all the undercoat. That that's undercoat, that that's where all of a sudden right. you find it all over your floor if you don't keep up with it. Right, and then also you want to remove the undercoat to mm -hmm. help the healthy coat you know, kind of uh, stand up on end, mm -hmm. which is actually what provides insulation against heat and cold. Hi. So, and it makes them more comfortable because, you know, it's kind of itchy. Yeah. Sickening. Well, you know, if you ever see them, and I always laugh, like when I see Norman get down, Norman's our golden retriever, and he'll get in the grass and he'll like do the back, and I'm like, oh, somebody needs a brush. Somebody mm -hmm. needs to be groomed. <laughs> but what I like about this is the way that you've designed the edge here. I don't have to go on in there and, and dig the hair exactly. out of it. It just falls right off exactly. of hair onto the ground. Now and then I can actually use this to help keep, keep, uh, clean the fur off the carpet. Right, yes. Um, you can try it on there. Um. Oh, look at that. Okay, my pet people, look at this. Look at Isn't that. And I'm not even pressing hard. I'm just gently, gently pulling. All of a sudden, I've got clean carpet where I just, where we just I the dog. use that with my uh, vacuum cleaner on the, Hi, the now the uh, dog couch. So, and also, I keep the small one in my car. Yeah. Speaking about the two different sizes, because I take my dogs with me everywhere. Mm hmm So do I. And so when I go to vacuum out the car, uh, it's not even worth trying to vacuum out without this. Well, I honestly, hand, so. I just, um, right before my, my other car died in the parking lot here, I had just come back from New York City and there was dog hair all over the inside of my car. And I couldn't, no vacuum I was using would get the hair right. out because of the way that the fabric is in the back just of the car. Mm -hmm. This can do it. But you know what, I love, I love the brushing, and I'm going to be f f fully honest with you. I probably don't do it as much as I should. <laughs> but when you do it, like uh -huh. there's one part, like in Norman's back, right where his tail comes in, that you just watch him when you get to that part. You watch him like melt into the ground. They love oh, it. Yeah. It's relaxing. It's bonding. You're mm -hmm. helping take better care of their fur and their skin. They're loving you for it. I mean, you know, I see Norman like he'll start to do the whole lean into me and then just go right down. Even my cat, I was, I was saying to you earlier, Jennifer, yeah. my cat Oscar was a little dry skin, little dandruff, and I was like, oh, buddy, what are we going to do? So I grabbed one of the smaller dog grooming brushes that I had, and I was like, I don't know if Oscar's going to like this. He was a street cat. I don't think he's into it. I started brushing him. He was like on his back, fur up, like four legs up, just hanging out. He loved it. And when I stopped, he followed me into the kitchen because he wanted me to do it more. It's a great opportunity to really spend some quality time with your pets. Absolutely. You know, I, I don't know people who may have two cats. I can see the two cats groom each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, ours do. And it's kind of a sign of affection. And so I think that this, uh, animals, I mean, cats, really, really seem to enjoy this tool. Um, I think it because it acts as if it's the cat's own tongue. Mm -hmm. It has that same feel. Well, and you said that that's kind of what it's all about. Look at that undercoat. You know, there was, I guess it was back in August, we were noticing more and more tufts of fur. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was like, I gotta shake that off right now. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, around our house. 
And when I got him groomed, when I took him to the groomer, she said that his undercoat was, it was just out of control. This uh -huh. helps them be more comfortable as well. Right, they shed twice a year, yeah. these dogs. Like this is the time of year right now, these dogs with these thick coats are losing their summer coat. And then the healthy winter coat comes in. Hi, I'll get that right off. Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's like, I keep getting brushed. He does want to work. <laughs> this he I just think, yes, if, you, if you have pets, whether it is dog, can I use this on horse? Oh, any animal that sheds. Actually, we start out for the horses. These, of course, are a little bit small for a horse, but mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people use this five inch size, um, but horses are more kind of a springtime thing. Like yeah. they, they get rid of their um, winter coat. It lasts anywhere from like a month to two months and it is hair everywhere. Really? Everywhere, oh yeah. I can so. remember taking horseback riding lessons when I was little and like you would go in like sweatpants or leggings and it was oh, just yeah. <laughs> every, and it's like those fine needle hair. You mentioned the size, let me get you the measurements. The small one that I'm holding is two and a half inches wide by two and five eighths inch long. It's about one and a quarter inches deep. Yeah. And then the larger one, Jennifer, that you have is five inches wide, two and a half inches long, and it's one and three eighths of an inch. So that's gonna be the larger one that Jennifer has in her hand. Mm -hmm. You're getting two of them. If you use a cue card, you get four easy payments. This is a lot of you are picking up more than one. This is one of those things, like if you have the animal lover on your list, great, great gift. Stocking stuffer. You know, who takes a, our dog walker? Like I almost want to buy a set and give them to Scott, our dog walker, to say, hey, uh -huh. thanks for taking care of our furry friends. Buy some for your vet as a way of saying, you know what, thank you for taking good care. Poor Arrow, I think he's like, guys, you got my fur, I'm good. <laughs> Oh, he's probably ready to go to bed. <laughs> I know. He's like, do you guys know what time it is? Like, it's past my bed. Like, at this point, Norman would be staring at me like, it's time for a, our, our, our late night snack. Oh, boy. And it's time for me to go to bed. But I also love that when you're done, if you do this over carpeting, look how easy that is to right. clean it up. That right there, like, that has me wanting to dance. I want to take this. And I would say, you know, test your carpeting. But I would almost want to use this as a stair tool. Because That's our st stairs are it's... constantly covered in fur. I use mine for that too. That's why, like the five inch size and the little two and a half inch size, you get the yeah. little smaller areas. But I use mine on my carpeting too. I've got, I've got stairs with carpeting, so Look, absolutely. There's, there's dog and cat hair in places that I probably don't even know exist in my house. This is a great way to keep it clean, <laughs> help keep them comfortable, and uh, it's just a great way to spend time. And Arrow, you are a champ, buddy. He it's is. Time He's for a bed. Pretty good... <laughs> It's time for bed poop. I'm going to go home and Norman's going to be like, where were you, oh, yeah. mommy? <laughs> Jennifer, so nice to meet it's you. So Thank nice you for coming in. Too. Thanks, Arrow. You, you're a rock star, buddy. Can I offer you some candy now that you're done? Oh, wow. Thank there you me. go. I'm sorry, buddy. No candy for dogs. I, I, I didn't know you were coming or I would have bought some treats. All right. Now it's time for a massage. Where am 